see if I can get him. I got a lot of slack. There he is. There he is. Oh my god, this one came on a minnow. Looks like what I got here, a little perch. Yeah, a little perch. A little yellow perch. Let this one go. He's hooked in the lip. Oh, now what do you think? Think he's big enough to eat? I got so much slack. Oh, yeah. Picked him up. Let's see who I got here. Oh. Another dinky perch. Hey, he's big enough for the stringer. Got this one on a minute. Oh, nice size yellow perch. There we go. Morning. We are up here at a lake we haven't fished for any number of years, and we're seeing a lot of surface action. The sun's just starting to come up, and we decided to head up here. We bought some minnows, uh, and we got some night crawlers. I'm going to try a night crawler on the bottom because uh, we used to do real, real well on white perch up here on night crawlers gotten a few walleyes out of here but uh no we got up here and saw a lot of surface action as soon as we walked down on this little point and we've already seen one cicada the 17 year cicadas are out and i'm sure you can hear them in the background but uh they seem to be flying around and hitting the water we've already seen one on the water get taken by a right nice sized fish so we might even try those for bait let's see how this morning goes there he is got him oh. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my goodness. The only reason I caught him is because he's too small to eat cicadas. We've been fishing here all morning and I've been using cicadas. Uh, caught a couple little little perch on minnows like this one here and we can't even get anything to hit a night crawler. Or, or cicada even on a hook. We've been fishing with them too, but we see, first thing this morning, we saw fish taking cicadas off the top of the water and coming up and going boom, you know, eating them. So we were fishing with cicadas, throwing them out there, and we haven't been able to get anything to bite at all. That's the first fish I've caught for like an hour. We caught those fish, boom, 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 right first light, right when we first got here. And we are theorizing, Dana and I, that the fish are just so full of cicadas, we can see them all over the top of the water now, and the fish aren't even hitting them anymore. And our theory is that they're just so full of these insects, because they're hitting the water left and right as they try to fly across the lake, that they're just not hungry. Well, what do you think, Dana? I think we didn't catch anything. <laughs> I think the fish are full. We caught a couple <laughs> little dinky ones. I think That's the all fish are full. Yeah. Uh, you think there's cicadas up in the mountains? Probably. You think there might be? I'd probably say yeah. Well, I don't you know. Try up you want to try it up there? You want to just hold on to the bait and call the morning out here and take a measly little four dink perch home <laughs> yeah. and try in the mountains? Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe there won't be maybe. any cicadas up there from one fly by. Yep. Maybe there won't be any cicadas out in the mountains because I really do. I think the fish are just full. Oh wait, why are you putting everything away? Don't forget our catch of the day. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's enough to feed Kia. I brought all this ice for this. Mm, that's a lot of ice in there. <laughs> Feels like an ice. Oh, what I got here? Who do I got here? Mr. Largemouth. Big old fat largemouth, too. Look at that. All right, first fish in the morning here. He's all fat. Looks like he's full of cicadas, too. We uh, didn't have so much luck down at the other lake, so we got up extra early and rode up here to this lake that we were fishing um, last summer. This is the one we fished 
during the search for purse series that had all the grass in it and we've been wanting to come back up here and try this lake anyway man he got hooked good sorry about that hook in your face but uh we want to come back up here and try this lake anyway earlier in the year to see if the grass um had died back and there is some grass out here but it doesn't seem as bad as last year and we can hear some cicadas calling too but there's not as many up here it doesn't seem of course it hasn't gotten real warm yet but uh we're gonna give it a go this morning we need a few more fish to uh add to those ones we caught yesterday see if we can't get a good meal put together this morning what do you think dana it's supposed to rain in a couple of hours and all i got was a couple little taps here I think we need to move somewhere else. Think we're gonna try a different spot? That's what I think. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to be happening here. It was doing good in uh, August here. In July and August, we did real well here a couple times. We'll have to come back and try this spot again later yeah. this summer, but right now, it's supposed to rain a couple hours later this afternoon, and we need to put some fish in there. Bass season's closed, so we couldn't keep that bass apart. Let's go walk, walk around and try this other bank over here. Ain't no point in sitting in one spot. No. Unless it's just the cicada jinx. Might be the cicada jinx. Now, grab your gear. Let's go find a new spot. I got it. What I got? He just jumped. Don't get in that tree. Oh, he's getting up on the tree. Oh, it's another bass. Me and Dana are walking around the lake here. I'm trying to find a spot where we can catch some fish because we won't have a whole lot of luck over in the other spot. And we just walked up here and nailed another large mouth. Look how fat that one is too. We're starting to think maybe this, they're eating the cicadas up here too. But uh, hey, I'll take him. We're really looking for some fish to uh, put on ice, put in the cooler, but when it's slow, a nice 10 inch bass is a whole lot of fun. I got, oh no, I got one. <laughs> and it's a bluegill, finally caught one now. You know, we drove a long way to come up here and uh, with gas as high as it, as it is, it's gonna be summer here in a week, it's 2021 and gas is gone through the roof, but we saved, Dana, gets those uh, grocery store points for gas and we saved quite a bit of money yesterday when we filled up didn't we Dana yeah we did we saved a lot at the gas station got one yep another one of those little bluegill shoot <laughs> hoping for some shell crackers <laughs> yep, there I got here here's a little better one no, not a shell cracker. He's almost, almost good for the stringer. But shoot, we can't get anything to put that stringer together. All right, I'm gonna take what I'm gonna take one more cast of this hole and see if it is only bluegills. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a shell cracker bed. You never know. I don't know who I got here. It's a pretty good one. And could that be the target? That guess who that is, Dana? That's our shell cracker right there. Well, get him up there. Nice one, too. You got my other line. That's a good... Oh, good! Look mm. at the size of the shell cracker. Look at the size of that shell cracker. Mm-hmm. Found a few. Huh. He's going on the stringer. Grab a line. Get over here with me, Dana. Uh, another little bluegill. The target species. That shell cracker was nice. I'd like to get two or three of those. Yeah, I got that one nice shell cracker, and then all I've caught are those little... Mm, that was a hit. Oh, get him. Nope, missed him. No, missed him, yeah. Probably them little bluegill, that's all Probably. I'm getting. Probably. This tiny yep. bluegill, but, uh... You know, I think we have this cicada jinx here. At least we got one nice shell cracker today that might... <laughs> if we stretch it with a lot of... A lot of rice that'll make a meal with this perch we got yesterday, but uh, I think yeah. these fish are just full of cicadas. That's what I think too. At least we saved some money. Uh, you know, we talked to you a little bit about uh, saving money on gas. 
and we do real good. Dana gets those gas points at the grocery store and it saves us quite a bit of change and that's good here heading into the summer of 2021 because gas is up around 320, 330 a gallon and you know when you can get gas for two dollars a gallon that helps a lot but there are other things we do to help save money too you'll notice uh, our clothes are kind of grubby and what we'll do is when we buy bait so that bait doesn't go bad the minnows don't die we'll go ahead and plan to fish for two or three days in a row and while we're doing that we save money on electricity and water as well by wearing the same grimy clothes for several days in a row. And it helps, doesn't it? Yeah, but we do change our underwear, don't we? You changed your underwear? Well, yeah, I changed my underwear. What's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> if you want some more tips <laughs> on how to save money, be sure to see our frugal fishing videos. It'll help you get out and spend a little more time on some outdoor adventures of your own. Hope to see you again real soon. Check us out, Camo Hope Chair Productions. <laughs>